Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the recommended general maintenance on your Xterra TR150 treadmill. They recommend a couple of things. Uh, once per month, they recommend that you vacuum underneath the treadmill deck. This thing sucks all of the dirt and hair and everything else underneath it. I did mine about two weeks ago, so we're going to see what it, what it looks like today. Um, they also recommend that you take off the motor cover hood here every other month and carefully vacuum out the hair and dust and everything that's gathered in there. Before you do any maintenance though on your Xterra TR150 treadmill, make sure that you turn it off and unplug it. We're going to do that right now. Okay guys, now with the machine safely unplugged, we're going to lift this up and see what's underneath and get it vacuumed out. I did want to show you guys this, this white powder that you see there, they call that belt dust. They say that that's normal until the belt has been fully broken in. So, um, you know, mine's about a month and a half old now total. And um, you can see that it's still putting off the, the dust there. So let's go ahead and lift this up and take a look underneath. All right, guys, I got my treadmill up and in the locked position there. And yeah, take a look underneath here. You know, all the dust and cat hair and all the belt dust, just tons of stuff to, um, you know, get sucked into the motor area. So let's go ahead and get the vacuum and get this cleaned up. All right guys, now that we have uh, everything vacuumed underneath the treadmill deck and on the top of the treadmill there, let's go ahead and get the motor cover off. Um, again, before we do, make sure that your machine is off and unplugged. And once you have the cover off, don't touch anything underneath there with your hand. You don't want to risk getting yourself shocked. Um, just use the attachment nozzle on your vacuum to gently clean out the dust and hair underneath there. All right guys, on the motor cover hood, there are four screws. There's one on each side and two on the back here. Um, they're Phillips screws, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those um, out now. I did notice after I took the screws out that they make it so you don't have to take the screws all the way out to get the cover off. You just need to loosen them up and then once you loosen them up you can just lift the cover right off. And once you have the screws out, there are some stickers on the back that prevent it from uh, just coming right off so I don't want to do that. Let's unplug this. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. These stickers here um, are attached to the base and the cover. Um, let's decide what we want to do here. Okay, so what I did is just gently pulled them off and they both came off intact. That way they didn't get ripped or anything. And I'm just going to lift this off and I'm just setting it to the side here. There are the inner workings of your treadmill, uh, the motor and cir circuit board there. Um, we're just going to kind of uh, gently vacuum out all the dust. You can already see some hair and some dust building in here. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this cleaned up really quick. All right guys, now that we got everything cleaned out in there, let's go ahead and get the cover back on. All right 
guys. Well, that was it. Um, I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate you guys. And by taking care of your machine, hopefully it'll last you a long time. So thanks again for watching, guys, and have a good one.